subject's auburn hair has been accentuated by the artist's use of alizarin crimson, often used to paint blood. It makes for a truly evocative frame in which to nestle such a powerful visage. And the artist has mainly used round and filbert brushes to perfect the curvature of the model's features. Is that a guy or a girl? Does it matter? <laughs> Fair enough. It's an awesome piece. Well, if you like that, I think you'll absolutely love this piece. It just came in last week. Oh, no flash photography, sir. Oh, sorry, it's just, uh, don't get to see a lot of indie portrait exhibition these days. Portraiture has always been my thing. <laughs> what can I show you next? Uh, well, I've had a good look around, actually, and I can't really find what I came to see. It was the, uh, Prime Minister's portrait. Arriving tomorrow, sir. It'll be on display in our main exhibition room, exclusively for the weekend. Got it. Well, I guess I'll have to come back then. Thank you again for visiting, sir. Please, call me Taylor. Uh, is she all right with those easels? Oh, uh, don't mind her. She's just my intern. All right. Anyway, uh, Taylor, I'm Morgan. Pleasure's all mine, Morgan. Uh, if you don't mind my asking what time you finish, maybe I could hear some more critiques over a drink. Oh, wow. And <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm full of surprises, me. It takes guts to approach a woman in her place of work. <laughs> well, how else would you ask someone out? You're a very charming young man, Taylor. Yeah, get that a lot. I'm sure you're very popular with boys and girls your own age. Uh, thank you again for visiting. Right. See you tomorrow, then. He was my favourite customer of the day. Out of how many? Five. Including or excluding the lady who needed the loo? Including. Was that the last of the easel, Sam? Yes, the same. I arranged them in the storeroom and cleaned the toilets just like the boss. Is there anyone else left in the building? No, it's just us. I'll lock up early then. <sighs> Is there something wrong with your back? No, it's nothing. Um, I took some painkillers in the office. OK. We've got a big weekend ahead. I need you fighting fit. <laughs> of course, I will be. There is one thing, Morgan. Um, I've been interning here for a while now, and I've learned so much from you, um, including what you look for in good portraiture. Oh, Sam, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, but we just haven't been turning over enough for me to pay you. No, no, it's nothing to do with that. Oh. Do you think it's good enough to have a small part in the exhibition this weekend? Um, let me take a closer look. Hmm. I think... It looks right at home. Congratulations, Sam. You have your first exhibited piece of art. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, you don't need to say anything. Your talent earned this. Thank you so much, Morgan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now go home and get some rest. We're going to have a lot more customers this weekend. I'll be in early to help you receive the Prime Minister's portrait.
for you spending the weekend. Well, here's one for the more sophisticated listener. An officially commissioned portrait of the Prime Minister is going on display at Argyle Manor. The painting was done by none other than Turner Prize winning portraitist Nicky Dryden Oaks. Britain has been torn asunder! Hardship is befalling the populace like a plague! What is our future? Eh? What is our future? Hey, what's going on here? Is he threatening you, madam? No. You need to oh, listen to me. All right, all right, quiet down, quiet down. Uh, no, it's fine. He's always around here, screaming rubbish through that megaphone. <laughs> all right, we'll move along then, sir. Consider this a warning. You two should come by this weekend and see the Prime Minister's portrait. Yeah, I might be a little tired up, love. Sorry, madam, but we're on duty all weekend. Public safety is the priority. Of course. Well, your work is very much appreciated. Is that your disappointed face? Oh, Nicky, of course not. You'd never see that. It, it's my extremely surprised face. <laughs> <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure, Miss Dryden Oaks? Well, I was just passing through the area. I, I did see some police hanging about outside, though. Oh, just checking up ahead of tomorrow. Uh, uh, let me show you the exhibition room. Mm -hmm. That's very 1970s too. Oh, the manners, electrics haven't been refined for a while, but they'll be back on shortly. Ah, as if by magic. <laughs> and uh, I've made space, especially. Oh, well. It'll be the absolute centerpiece. You won't need that much space. Uh, oh, you brought it. <laughs> uh, what about the scheduled delivery? I cancelled it, don't worry. I thought you'd appreciate a personal delivery. Who knows? The extra attention might even reel in some buyers for these others. Oh, but profits are from admission only. Everything else is about showcasing the portraits. Questionable business model. You're going to get that? Uh, no, it's not, um... urgent. Nikki, uh, not here. No better place. You owe me this much, don't you? I knew no one would disturb us. <laughs> now, guard that case with your life. I, I will, Nicky, I promise.
Morgan Haynes speaking. The exhibition's closed for the day. Hi, Morg. It's me. Again? Look, sorry to pester. Uh, you'd think I was the baby of the family, wouldn't you? Jamie, I can't talk to you. Yeah, no, all it is is um, I just need somewhere to bed down over the weekend. And it's the last time, all right? I promise. I'm not in a position to help you anymore. No, but I'll, I'll repay you with interest. I can get some um, like investors for your gallery and um, I'll sort it all out. You're still here. Who's that? Oh, it's no one. I told you to clear this up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you fuck it there. Look, Morg, I've got. I've got no-one else to call. Oi, oi, seriously, Beth, leave it. My name isn't Beth, you twat. I don't give a fuck, Betty. It's not Betty, either. Excuse me. Oh, hi. I hope you don't mind me borrowing the armchair. Oh, no, um, of course not. That's, that's what they're out for, customers. It's a bit rickety. Could do with a reverb. I'm looking to paint a copy of one of your... I'm sorry, sir. We're closed. Well, you don't usually close this early, do you? No, but uh, we, we've got a big weekend and so... Hang on, how did you get in? Uh, the front door should have been locked. Well, I'm afraid it wasn't. I typed in my passcode and saw it lock, I'm sure of it. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I walked right in. That's not possible. Hmm. Well, it could have been an electrical fault. You've never had any power cuts or anything. It's not uncommon in old properties like this. And don't worry, I, I turned the lock with my own hands after I came in. <laughs> Wouldn't want someone lifting these beautiful paintings. Well, they aren't quite Rembrandts. <laughs> Rembrandt was overrated. Seriously? A well-versed imitator of Caravaggio. Each to their own. Look, sir, we have a big day tomorrow. We're, we're closing early. Oh, the uh, dried Noakes portrait of the Prime Minister. <laughs> How did you pull that off? I met Nikki at a function at the World Trade Center in New York. We hit it off. We finally found a way to collaborate. Wow. <laughs> An artist with Nikki's profile helping out a well, small exhibition like that is quite something. She's doing me a great favor. With no strings attached, too. I'm Dorian. Uh, Morgan. Dorian, like... Uh, Dorian Gray. <laughs> Ironic, eh? Oh, it's a lovely name. <laughs> I must say, you're the first ever reproduction artist to visit one of my exhibitions. <laughs> you mean forger? Uh, faithful reproduction is a fine art in itself. Although you would be Rembrandting a Caravaggio. <laughs> Touché. I've been struggling for inspiration recently. It's tough. I never had the talent myself, so I figured I'd contribute more by helping those who do. In that case, could I paint you? You make such an amazing subject in so many ways. You're really quite enthralling. No, we're closed. I need you to go. Well, let me make a start, at least. It's so rare to meet supporters of portraiture these days. Please. I really need this. Uh, I suppose I could spare half an hour. Brilliant. Let me just reconfigure. You prefer to paint standing? Always. It allows me to zoom in and out on my subject. Uh, how 
are you going to pose? Um. Oh. Um. Oh, I. I, I don't know. I've. Um. It's harder than I thought. <laughs> Perfect. Stay like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about my Rembrandt comment. I can have uh, some strong opinions. It was uh, bold, but valid. Rembrandt stole his students' work for the last 10 years of his career. This is going to be great. <laughs> oh, plastic bottle. Fancy. Mm. Huh. Uh, let's leave it there for tonight. I could uh, sit for you again next week. Let me do your skin tone as a base. <laughs> no, Dorian, I need to get home. I'm not asking for much longer. I know how you artists can get. If I let you start, we will be here all night. All right, uh, this is over. I'm done. I really wouldn't, you know. Stand up and this room ends up looking like a Jackson Pollock. Feel under your seat. That is a PAD, a pressure-activated detonator. A bomb, Morgan. Similar principle to a grenade. Once the safety pin is removed, the striker lever and percussion cap collide, creating a spark which triggers the detonator. Once you sat down on that chair, you became the safety pin. This isn't real. <laughs> no. Well, go on. Try it. <laughs> You've never been someone's muse, have you? Like Victorine Mouron to Manet. Do you want money? Or Amard, Picasso. Uh, uh, I could write you a check. Painted Helga test off or a painting. Uh, you you could take of any one of these. Dorian, what do you want? the drapes. Multiple sockets. Fancy. Someone's really trying to get hold of you. Morgan, are you there? Morgan! Uh, yes, Nicky. I, um... I need you again. I'll be at the Rampton. I've booked our usual suite. I'll make my excuses at home. <sighs> Nikki, tonight I really can't... Think very carefully about the next word that comes out of your mouth. I'll take your silence as a yes. Don't let me down. You can't keep me here. Suzanne insisted on dozens of sittings when painting his subject. Goya sometimes needed just a day. 
I only want the night. Get rid of that shit. Mate, I'm a logger man through and through. Nah, try it. Try it. Uh, wait, that's rank. What? I think I'm done for tonight anyway. What? Why? Wait, my head's spinning. You know you're an art historian, but I take it you didn't learn how to make bombs at art school. You assume I had the privilege of attending such an establishment? <laughs> no. I grew up dirt poor in Belfast. My father taught me and my brother how to fight, shoot guns, build rudimentary explosives. IRA? You don't sound Irish. And I thought they changed tack to hunger strikes. I never said I was IRA. There are many angry people taking up arms in Britain and beyond. Just ask President Reagan and Pope John Paul II. Thanks for taking an interest in me, though. How do I know the bomb under my chair is real? <laughs> I had a feeling you'd ask me that. What's that? Dorian? Tell me when Nikki's painting's being delivered. First thing in the morning by a fine art transportation company. Hmm. And how's it being brought in? Uh, by the back door, just through there. Great. So we have until the morning, as I'd hoped. So that's what you're really after. How did you get in here? My uncle was a chimney sweep. As a teenager, I worked with him and learned how to scale houses and open unlocked windows. Such lowly manual jobs are all I could aspire to at that age. Your painting style does seem somewhat Practical. And you look like you could use a good night's sleep, too. My reality means that I have to pursue my passion outside working hours. Anything else you want to critique to make me feel even more out of place? I know I might not look like you or talk like you. That's not what I was doing. Artists for all, and all are welcome at my exhibitions. Well, that's a utopian vision, isn't it? But my social strata means that I, like many, exist under a glass ceiling. And you think what you're doing here will break that ceiling? You think sleeping with Nikki will save your business? <laughs> Where are you going? Toilet. Wash me brushes. You can't leave me alone, surely. What if I try to escape? I won't clean up the mess. Going on, Morgan. I can't. I can't. I can't breathe. Calm down. I can't paint you like this. 
Um, I have um, medication. There are some pills in a cupboard in the office. Thank you. That's, um, that's very helpful. You're welcome. You didn't need to hold me hostage, you know. I'd have posed for you beyond tonight, voluntarily. That wouldn't set me apart. What do you mean? The recognition of one's work often depends on the mythos surrounding it. You know the story of the portrait of Madame X by John Singer Sargent? Scandalised for being too sexually suggestive by the bourgeoisie of 19th century France. And now it's one of the most famous portraits in history. Infamy is a strong currency. So, <laughs> this is some sort of performance piece. A hostage portrait would be a watershed, don't you think? I want to be a trailblazer, Morgan. I need to grab people's attention by whatever means necessary. I see what you're saying. Commerciality is important. I'm fighting to survive, too. Admissions are at an all-time low, and I'm hemorrhaging money from the residency at this manor. So exploiting young workers and compromising your dignity is your solution? I... Hello, hello? Wow. You need an alarm, love. Come on. No, don't let go. Where's your safe? I don't have one. Now, get off me. OK. There's a bomb under my chair. Why don't you stop talking shit? Hmm? Get up! Get up! Fucking hell. You reckon? It, it, it's just one of my paintings. It's worthless. There's nothing in the till. Now, nah, mate, that'll do. <laughs> no! No, please stop! No, 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 please don't take that! Don't, don't take it! I'll do anything! Don't leave! Please don't leave! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a night! <laughs> right then, guys, where are we going next? Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Oh! I'm finished! I'm fucking finished! You have no idea what the fuck you're doing, do you? You're just a, a, a hopeless, failed artist. A chancer who... <laughs> Go on. Keep going. I dare you. I'm sorry. I don't suppose you could have used some of that aggression on them, could you? Could have done. <sighs> 
So, shall we? There's talent in this room. I could see a few of these on the walls of great galleries. Portrait painting is dying. TVs, Polaroid cameras. People have images on demand now. Why would they waste time and money seeing those images through someone's paintbrush? Too afraid of what they might see. Nikki's been with her partner, what, 10 years now? Relationships are complicated. Wouldn't know. What do you want, Jamie? Why aren't you helping me? Or family? I can barely help myself right now. Bullshit. <laughs> You're gonna be fine after this weekend. There's no way this weekend will fix the financial mire you've got me into. If I will, I'll just, um... I'll just sleep out on the streets then, shall I? Because you know how safe that is these days. Fuck you, you fucking prick. Mm. Charming. The security code on the door. What about it? I've been watching, Morgan. Hmm? Why did you choose 1907? It was Frida Kahlo's year of birth, the year of Valaton's portrait of Gertrude Stein, and of course, Vanessa Stephen married the great art critic Clive Bell. 1907 was the year my great-grandfather, Douglas Pickren, worked in his studio in Montmartre. Never heard of him. Well, his best pieces only made it as far as the walls of my childhood home. A meagre legacy is better than none at all. I feel comfortable around portraits. I'm never alone. You needed their company. My parents died in a car accident when I was 14. Jamie became my guardian. Then came his troubles. He frittered away his inheritance leading the high life until it led him. If mum and dad were alive, they'd have shaken some sense into him. They were wonderful people. Nothing is more powerful than the portraits we paint in our minds. One of the great disappointments of adulthood is realising that our idols are as flawed as anyone else. You've not known hardship anyway. Hardship is relative. You're deluded by self-pity. You've squandered this. <laughs> You've had more chances than some have in a lifetime. They'll come back on soon. I know. But unfortunately, I haven't got all night.
you feel alone. You've taken matters into your own hands because no one would support your talent. I'd have displayed your paintings here. I still could. I like you, Dorian. Get back in your pose. I'd be such a cliche. Okay, I'll admit, the PAD bomb wasn't real. But this, this is. I'm going to paint you. And you are going to. Who is that? I don't know. Madam! It's Sergeant Robin Latif. No, he's still here. I can hear voices. Can you come to the door, please? It's a policeman. Get rid of him, or I will. Madam. What's the problem? A group of vandals have been breaking into businesses in the area. I wanted to check up on you. Oh, wow. Um... No, I haven't seen anything untoward. You alone? Yes, totally. Madam, I'm going to come in. Burglarising thugs? <laughs> Don't they have jobs? All good here, Sergeant. That is a sergeant's badge, isn't it? Yes, it is. My sister's an inspector, so I know the Met Police ranks quite well. <laughs> May I ask who you are? Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> He's caught us here, darling. <laughs> You'd have to hold a gun to this one, said for her to admit she's smitten. <laughs> is this your partner? You can't lie to a policeman, sweetheart. You know I don't believe in labels. <laughs> well, I know it's the 80s, but that's quite a fanciful notion, isn't it? I'm forward-thinking like that. Yes, but I think it's about time you started giving me what I want. Even if it makes me feel trapped. <laughs> what do you think, Sergeant? Um, well, it's none of my business. Exactly, Morgan. Shall we? But I can't marry my man. It doesn't change anything. Titles can cause more problems than they solve. Husband, wife. Well, the royal wedding brought the world to a standstill. I think you should listen to her. These things are a team effort. Hmm. Thanks for that. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to ask one more time. Is everything all right here? Sir, I want you to take a step. Sarge! Save my colleagues! I'm sorry. No one needed to die tonight. Ross, clap!
Welcome back. The police. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Can I ask you this then? Have you um have you got some kind of vendetta against me? Not particularly. So you're just painting me for fun. Your broken moral compass intrigues me. There are far more immoral people out there. And they'll get their comeuppance. Your intern, Sam, what does she get out of this? Valuable experience in the field. For no money. You're exploiting her. I told you, I have no income and I get no funding. I can't pay her. She's one of the few who shares your passion for portraiture. Don't you think you have a responsibility to her? I have many responsibilities. Stop justifying your sins. Sins? I didn't have you pegged for a preacher. You epitomise everything wrong with this country. You take all you can from those below you and give nothing back. What do you want me to do? Make amends. Look, I repaid Sam the best way I could by hanging her painting on my wall. OK, it's not money, but it's the first time her work has been professionally accepted, and that counts for a lot. I guess I have changes to make to my painting. You really value portraiture above all else, over profit, over decency. A very small part of me respects that. Enough to let me go. Let's see. Tell me more about these portraits. You can stand if you like. This was painted two months before the subject died. High contrast background is made all the more vivid by the artist's use of vermilion red. It's a solemn painting. He knew the end was near and didn't sanitize that. I see the reality of age, but also a life well lived. No regrets. Such dignity. What else? This gem of a portrait by Richard Greaves, a wonderfully classical the artist style. Applied these broad brush strokes with the Absolutely. high forehead, and the straight nose, background no colours, bad mark perfect on contrast this to the beautiful light. Her skin her lives. Strokes. Everyone has been placed with and absolute here, precision to create this painting. A sense of verisimilitude. Now. We're very close to her face. It's appropriate that the poses are so no self-conscious. Illusion of naturalism about them. Older and the, the high frank, contrast frank backgrounds frank. are fun, modern. You're right. There is talent in this room. Talent that I'll always be committed to. What about that one? the Technicolor take on the Mona Lisa. Formally, it's faithful, down to the artist's use of smarto, the blurred softening of the outlines which defined Leonardo's masterpiece. 
a technique I use myself. The same artist did the piece that hangs in the ante room. So androgyny is their motif? How so? The Mona Lisa is a woman. In popular normative opinion, yes. But it's actually a composite of Lisa Geraldini and Salai, Leonardo's male assistant and lover. Da Vinci saw that gender was the greatest veneer of all and that true humanity has no such boundaries. Wouldn't you agree? I would. You're on edge. Perceptive as ever. I presume all the paintings are varnished. It'll help. Pure indica, the best sleep aid. Yeah, um, it's great. I bet you're hungry, huh? <laughs> Made it myself. It's been ringing incessantly. Answer it. Hello? You've got a nerve? Should have been here hours ago. I've had a lot on my plate this evening. Look, you little shit. What I've done for you is unprecedented. All I asked for in return was a couple of fucking orgasms. Nikki, Maybe I... you think you've outsmarted me or something, but you need to consider your position very carefully. I'm sorry, something came up. Oh, something came up. Fuck me. I could ruin you if I wanted to. The future of your piss out business is riding on my painting. You fucking coward. If you hate me so much, why don't you just put a bullet in my head? How does it feel to be a home wrecker, Morgan? To whore yourself out for self preservation? The only person I've whored myself out for self preservation to is you. How does that feel? to enable the things you preach against. So, shall we?
Is it done? Almost. You know, I'm just opening your eyes, Morgan. So you are a preacher, then? Please. Religion repulses me. Seism gave rise to the hierarchical systems of power that plague humanity today. Monarchs, presidents, prime ministers. We're preconditioned to serve, yet we're shocked by the greed of politicians and, and bankers scrambling their way to the top of the tree. It's been like this for decades, and it will be like this for decades to come unless someone takes a proper stand. Walk. The bottom of the tree would like to speak to you. Oh, shit. Hello? Mork, you answered. Where are you? I'm watching the sun come up over the Thames. What would Mum and Dad say if they could see me now, eh? The whores, drugs. Oh, shut up, Jamie, please. At least none of the money went to waste, eh? Do you know what the craziest thing is? If I had it all again, I'd probably just do the fucking same. I'm sorry, Jamie. Today I have other priorities. Goodbye. Well done, Morgan. Prime Minister is perpetuating an image of our nation that is complete fantasy. Real Britannia, marmalade and jam. He is the reality. Five Tories the true voice of Britain. Bang, 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 bang. A cry for help, falling on deaf ears. Ah. He should be heard. We all should be heard, but our democracy is failing us. Wouldn't you agree, Morgan? Stay there! Morgan! I didn't want to tie you up like an animal. After all I've taught you, this is my thanks. I don't owe you anything, Dorian. You're just full of hate. Someone will have heard my screams and called for help. We have a potential armed hostage situation at Argyle Manor. Nearby officers, please respond. 
No one is coming to save you, Morgan. How can you be so sure? Because your actions have closed off all your options. You've burnt all your bridges. Why are you doing this, you mad man? For our future, Morgan. It's always been decided for us by the self-interested and the ignorant. It's time to take back that agency. We must weaponize and target the pressure points that will truly harm the establishment. Beauty itself is but the sensible image of the infinite. Francis Bacon. Thank you for being part of my stand against oppression. You're taking a stand against the Prime Minister at a portrait gallery. That makes no sense. You lunatic. A fish rots from the head down. The entire establishment is defunct. My actions today shall be a catalyst for change. A stand to show people that with precision and organization, we can destabilize and overhaul the system. Through brutality. That's not a worthy catalyst for change. Change can be inspired, but you need a message that's powerful enough to unite everyone. But da Vinci was born a peasant, so anonymous that his surname was merely the town he grew up in. He committed his life to conveying a message through his art, and the world listened. I wish a beautiful message was all it took. I tried to find the beauty, but all I saw was chaos. If you just had believed in me, we could have opened Britain's eyes together. How am I going to get out of here? Once I walk through that door, start cutting yourself free. Thank you. Well, you never gave me a critique of my painting. It's a mess. I see no emotional connection with the subject. It's hollow and not worthy of this exhibition. Goodbye, Morgan. <laughs>